Hey guys, Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel here. Just a question for you. Um, the sun's not quite up. Is it easier for you to wake up on a day when you're going dirt biking as opposed to a day when you're just going to work? Uh, when I'm going, when I have to work, which is every day, generally during the week, it feels like it's so hard for me to drag myself out of bed. This morning, because it's a Saturday morning and I'm finally going dirt biking for the first time in a long time, it, uh, I was up at five without an alarm clock, you know, just because I know, hey, I'm going dirt biking today. Things running good now. And I set the suspension up exactly how I had the suspension on my half, I should say, have the suspension on my 300. And so I feel, feel very at home. So today marks the first day that I'll actually be able to ride the 2017 KTM 250 XC. Um, gonna have to go, the, the place that we're going is over two hours away from me because it's in March and I don't know, you probably can't see it, but there's snow everywhere in the mountains. So we're gonna go out to the desert into an area uh, that I haven't ridden a ton and do some riding out there. And yesterday I took, I took the, uh, the 250 just kind of around my house to see if I had the jetting right because what was happening is I had leaned out I leaned out the carburetor I leaned out the main jet the idle jet and the needle jet and so I wanted to just go test it around the house uh, to make sure that it was running right and it was run, it was running okay um, but I had this kind of like a little bit of a hesitation there right between eight throttle and quarter throttle and it would just it just it just wasn't going right and so I ended up, uh, you know, I was playing around with my air screw and trying to clean it up a little bit that way. And I was getting it better, but it wasn't completely there. So then I kind of came back to the house. I decided I'm gonna drop that clip position on that needle. So I went from the third position to the second position on the clip on the needle, put it back in the bike and then boom, she's running great. So I'm just so uh, thankful that I've taken the time in the past to pay attention to what's happening with carburetors. And I'm not the best jetting guy in the whole world, but I know just enough to have some good, you know, some, some good results with, with a lot of the different bikes that I've been riding, these different two strokes. And it isn't difficult, it's not rocket science. You just have to kind of apply yourself a little bit and uh, do a little bit of study and then do some trial and error and adjust one thing at a time. And don't, you know, don't adjust like everything all at once because then you don't know exactly what you're doing and what changes you're making. So that's been fun. I got the bike to run really good yesterday and it's ready for today's ride. So should be a good day. He's got a lot more, a lot more dirt bike experience than me and it shows. He's a great rider. I'm not really sure what the high, high powered, you know, awesome, high caliber athletes do for breakfast, but I find the McDonald's sausage McMuffin with egg is a pretty good breakfast for weekend warriors. Take it for what it's worth. Let me start that over. You know how you can tell if Scott's not right car? I can see him. Because if he's riding hard, he just stacks out.
leave in the comments what you like to eat for breakfast when you're going dirt biking. Get a little cruise control action going here. I said, what do you think? I think this thing is a screamer. It's fun, huh? Wow. It's, it's cool. It's going to be cool to ride it back to back with the 300 because this thing is just, you can it's, rev it. it's, it's more free revving. It's got more of the feel of that bike, you know, which is super fun. I may end up liking this better than the 300, you know? Until it slows way down. For stuff out here, I think this On is... flowy stuff, I think the 250 are funner. Yeah, this is going to be more fun out here, probably. Right. So we just made a loop. Yeah, the truck... Right down there. So, Scott, what is it like riding a fuel tank? <laughs> it's fun. It leads over really easy. Because it looks like... It looks like I don't need gas because you have gas for both of us. If you got a transfer hose, we're good. <laughs> we'll just try an in air reel. <laughs> Scott has turned the YZ250X into a refueling station with this freaking gas tank. My goodness. I guess 2.1 2. 2. wasn't enough for you. No. You had to have like 9.7. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.